Go ahead. All right, so hello everybody. I'm Benoit from StumbleUpon, Site Reliability Engineer at StumbleUpon. Uh, so I'm going to present today a project that was released yesterday in open source, available on GitHub, OpenTSDB, which is a scalable distributed time series database. So I guess you all have a bunch of machines and applications and network gear and all sorts of devices, uh, firewalls, filers, and whatnot, and you all need to keep track of the performance of your applications, of your machines, and of your network equipment. So how do you do that? Like it's generating a lot of data, it's kind of cryptic, different protocols, and you know, how do you centralize all this data? Uh, that's what a time series database is here for. It's going to collect all the metrics from all your systems, essentially anything that has a number on it that you can collect, that you can store it and see how it's changing over time. And then you can keep track of the performance of your systems, do capacity planning, see what's happening when you have outages, you know, how your systems are being used over time and that kind of that kind of thing. So one of the problems is scalability. Like even if you have only like you know a couple hundred machines, that's not much. And yet you're gonna be able to collect a lot of data from like Linux, or if you have Apache servers or web servers, Memcache servers, databases, everything. That's a lot of data. So how do you keep track of all this data? Um, and the reason we uh, at StumbleUpon implemented this system is that we didn't really find any good open source project that was able to keep up with all the data we wanted to keep track of um, and scale well as we keep adding data over time because we didn't want to remove any data, we didn't want to down sample data over time, we always wanted to keep track of all the metrics of our infrastructure <coughs> over time and never delete anything. Um, so OpenTSDB is a scalable solution for this problem. One of our concerns as well is uh, reliability. So we don't want to have any single point of failure in our monitoring system. Yet nowadays, even if you look at a lot of companies, they have like maybe one monitoring main monitoring server for a data center or for application. And we don't we wanted to build a system that was distributed so we wouldn't have any single point of failure. Um, so here's the key concepts behind OpenTSDB. Uh, essentially, it's just like a big database that's storing values and timestamps. Uh, you can annotate your values with tags, like say, uh, if you have the load, if you're, if you're keeping, keeping track of the load average of your machines, you might want to annotate it with uh, the host name of the machine that produced the data point and uh, which pool of machine is it, if you have like multiple tools, a web server, for instance. And as you keep recording values over time, you're building up this time series. Um, so you can literally like echo this to the time series database and it's gonna store a data point for you. And um, so here's like the big picture of the system and how it works. So essentially all your applications and all your systems and operating systems and network gear, they all export some metrics somehow, uh, like maybe via the prop file system on Linux or SNMP for your network devices. Uh, so you need agents that are go going to periodically call those applications and systems and then send those data points over to the TSDs, which are the time series demons. And all your time series database is actually gonna be persisted in HBase, which is a distributed scalable time series uh, database. Uh, it's part of the NoSQL movement, if you, if you know about it. And you can, you can look at your data through a browser and I'm actually gonna show you a quick demo of this right now. Uh, so. Okay, you've got a minute. You've got a minute. Oh, yeah, a minute is fine. Um, <laughs> we'll all right. So let me open the brother up here. Here we go. This is going to be too far. This way. All right. So the time series database has a web interface that you can use uh, to, oop, what did I do? Sorry about that. Right. So this is a web interface of the time series database. Um, and what I'm gonna show you right now is one of our HBase clusters, um, which is where the time series database is stored. Uh, we are gonna take a look at what, how many queries per second it's handling uh, so we have multiple clusters. I'm going to show you the, the batch cluster. Let's take a look at the past uh, one day of work of data. And the metric we want to look at is uh, 
the requests per second on H base. Um, let me resize this a little bit. Right, so this is a graph that's showing you the requests per second over the last one day on our H base cluster. And the way this graph was generated is in our H base cluster, we have a bunch of machines. And we collect every 15 seconds uh, how many requests per second each machine is serving. And this graph is showing you an aggregate across the cluster of how many requests per second they're handling. We can see in this graph there is actually 156,000 data points. And all of those data points, they were retrieved and plotted on the fly for you in one second. Now, if I can just show you one more thing, uh, one of the interesting things about the system is you can easily correlate multiple time series, so we're going to take a look at the GC activity and see if that correlates with if that correlates with the request rate, which it should. So we're going to take a look at the same cluster, and we want to see the rate of change, put this on the right axis. Oh, there we go. Right, so on the right axis here, you see the uh, garbage collection rate, and on the left axis, the request rate, and you can see there is a pretty strong correlation when we have those cron jobs that run every day. Uh, you can see the, the request rate is going up like crazy and so is the collection, collection rate. Let me make this a little bit wider. And because the collection rate is so uh, high, it's like much, uh, we collect data points every few seconds from all our systems. We are actually storing over 100 million data points per day in our main production cluster. So we are collecting everything you can imagine, like everything has a number, the load on our, all our machines, I.O. activity, CPU activity, how much RAM is used, how many processes are running, uh, how many requests per second all our systems are handling. Uh, like everything that has a number, we collect every few seconds and we keep this data forever. And you can always go back and look at the data unchanged. It will never be downsampled. You're never going to lose accuracy or time. You can go back, like you can look at one month worth of data and see if some of the releases have change the performance of your applications or of your systems. Um, okay, then we got to wrap it up. Right, so that's about it. This <laughs> is the monitoring system. Thank okay. you for your attention. Okay, awesome. great. Thank you.